Hi, it's me again, Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. So today I wanted to talk about healthy snacks. Uh, I just read a blog by David Wolf, and that's spelled with an E on the end of Wolf, and um, where he was talking about some of the very, very bad for children snacks. And he listed the following as being as actually having ingredients in them that cause cancer. Pop-Tarts, Gummies, M&Ms, Cheetos, and Teddy Grahams. He said, do not let your kids eat any of those. So what are you going to have the kids eat instead? Here's some of the things that I eat, and I'm sure you can be creative and find, find even more things. But um, one of the things that really satisfies me is either fruit or veggies with nut butter on it. Like I might take an apple and slice it up and then spread some nut butter on the things. It tastes just like a caramel apple. Or I might take a, a rib of celery and fill it with, um, with nut butter. And I might dust a little bit of cacao powder, which is the raw ingredient that chocolate is made from, over the top and make a wonderful, tasty, uh, delightful snack for myself. Um, another thing I really like is I like to use avocados and make puddings out of the... The avocado provides the fat and all the, the stuff that um, would, would... the substance of the pudding, and then you flavor it. So uh, one thing I might want to mix together, I might want to blend a, an avocado and a banana together, or I might want to blend... Um, one of my favorites is to do that and maybe add a few drops of uh, stevia and then add a bunch of cacao powder so that I've, in essence, made chocolate pudding. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of like use the avocado blended as a base and then add flavorings to it to make it interesting. You could add vanilla, you could add some protein powder if you wanted. Um, the, the avocado is what will give it the pudding-like consistency, and it has marvelous fats in it for, you know, that are just so good for the body. I try to eat as many avocados as I can, and I'm always looking for new and creative ways to use avocados other than just make guacamole. So another thing I always carry with me is some bags of nuts, raw nuts, not flavored, not with all the... Um, flavorings on them and the salt on them and not roasted, just raw nuts. And to make that a little more interesting, if the raw nuts by themselves, you know, a small handful of nuts is about 100 calories. Um, so I carry these little bags that you find jewelry findings in uh, that has just about 100 calories of nuts in them, and I eat one or two of those bags. Or I might carry um, some nuts mixed with some dried raisins or... or um, or something, you know, so that I've got that fruit and nut combination, but don't overwhelm it with the fruit. Just have a moderate amount of fruit and then it won't spike the blood sugar. Or another great snack is just whole fruit. You don't need the food, fruit processed. It doesn't have to be made into something else. You know, just f whole fruit is wonderful. It has some calories, it has some fiber, it, it has some moisture. I mean, I, I wouldn't be upset if a child really wanted to eat a whole lot of a particular whole fruit. I mean, I would think to myself, oh my gosh, all the nutrition that's going into that child in comparison to the nutrition that isn't going into them if they're eating some sort of processed snack food. So over my lifetime, I've moved away from you know, going to the vending machine and getting the candy bars and the chips and the um, all those kinds of things when I was a young adult and I, and I used the vending machine as a major source of food for myself at work. And then I moved into the healthier granola bars and, you know, in, in other words, they, they were still the same thing. They were healthier chips or they were healthier granola bars or they were healthier whatever, you know, chocolate than than the candy bars I was eating before. And now I've moved on to not eating any of that processed food at all. Because even if it comes from a health food store, if it's heavily processed, it's lost a lot of its nutrition. And it might be tasty, and you know they might have healthy written all over the label and stuff, but it's not as healthy as the actual raw ingredients would be if you sort of 
put the thing together yourself. And it doesn't have to take a whole lot to put it together. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And I hope this is another useful tip to keep you healthy, to get you healthy, to keep you healthy. And I want you to be well. Thanks.